Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Welcome back to the T0 T6 bit series. We're here in Jita, about to sell some really nice loot to get some dank isk. We've acquired an estimated value, just a little bit over 400 million isk since the last time we sold isk or sold modules here. Oh, and we've also got a blueprint. There's a faction blueprint. I wonder if this is worth anything. Uh, 4.9, so I mean, it's something. It's not a whole lot, but it can be worth something. So if we put this here and then create a contract, public and then we can maybe put like 4.5 billion not billion million <laughs> that'd be a nice scam no it wouldn't because no one would fall for that okay we've got the modules here or the items that we're going to sell select everything and sell and i know a lot of you guys are like what the heck why are you doing you should do sell orders sell orders much better stop crying i don't care but here we are. We've got 1.1 million isk, or 1.1 billion isk, and we're going to have to check what's the next step for the T0 to T6 bit series because there are certain modules that I want to upgrade on my zealot. We'll see what they will be. Okay, so we've got our zealot here, and there are certain modules that I want to upgrade. One is the armor repair. Two is the multi spectrum. You can see here, if we oh oh that was silly of me, I forgot to bring the armor repair here because I would have wanted to. Bring the armor repair here, sell it, and then I'll maybe get some, you know, extra isk to be able to play around with. Because uh, this is worth a decent amount of isk, this armor repair here. Okay, not so much, 100 million. But we'll check here. What does the A-type medium armor repair cost? Corpum, A-type medium armor repair. So we've got the Corpum here for 307 million isk. Corellum is not as good. Centum then, 300. So we're out of, this is the one go-to module here. So this is one we can buy got this and then the other module is that multi-spectrum energized membrane Corpum a-type spot oh we can buy Corpum a-type multi-spectrum energized membrane what about a centum is it cheaper no Corpum is cheaper we're gonna get that great so we can afford both of these two really expensive modules for our ship and in fact we'll be able to sell some of the modules we've already got on our ship because uh, we are we are we're going to then be able to replace them so we'll be able to replace then the the zealot that has the if we go here the zealot they've we've got the um, got the imperial navy multi-spectrum this is worth something not a whole lot but 39 million is 36 then we can sell that arm repair we've already got as well 100 million isk so we can make some progress here we've got then the t4 firestorm which is then the next year of this we can do and also another is t the t5 seller and T5 Zealot doesn't actually require that much more. It's, it's 2.5 billion in total here yeah, for this T5 Zealot, actually. So it's not the not the most expensive one here. Um, in terms of what we need is the Corpum A-Type. I've got Corpum a here. Multi-Spectrum. I just want to see. I don't even need these Imperial Navy, actually. We've already got this. Oh, yeah. The expensive thing are these uh, armor, these uh, implants. So you could, you know what? We could actually skip the T4 Firestorm. Maybe even just go directly for the the t5 to be honest how much is do we have so we can't really buy those implants yet but if we just farm a little bit more and get those implants could be an idea maybe we could we could maybe do some firestorms until we're able to do this because it's not so much more required actually just these implants here what is required in the firestorm variant here Oh, we've got some hobgoblins. Auxiliary nanopub has already got that. We've already got that here. And then a capacitor control circuit rig is what we would need then. So, you know, we could actually just try doing a few of these runs. It'll be fun for some variation, at least, at the very least. Uh, we can get the capacitor control circuit. And then we'll get some hobgoblins. Hobgoblin 2s. Maybe we can get 10 of these, perhaps. Oh, we can get more. They're not that expensive. There we go. So we've got a ton of these hobgoblins. Great. So we've got the modules here to be able to run the T4 Firestorm. This is quite uh, exciting for me, actually, because uh, I've been waiting forever to be able to do this. But now, finally, it seems like the day is going to come. Uh, we have got on this T4 Firestorm, I think. No, it's T2. Yeah, T2 Afterburner. Okay. And the T5 Zealot. Oh yeah, the 
the it requires the Galente drone specialization. Okay, check on market. Let's check this out on the market. Two billion, two million, not all a lot. Let's get that Galente drone specialization, and we'll train a few levels here just to get something with this for the those uh, for those hobgoblins. But then again, the acolytes I got could be perhaps quite good because they'll get buffed even more buffed armor, so they'll maybe have a bit more HP in the firestorm. So hmm. Could be an idea as well, but we'll just change some Galente drone specialization just so we have some amount of levels here. And maybe tra train it to level 4, may as well. Oh, but the T5 is a little. This is going to be juicy, guys. This is going to be juicy. I can't wait for this. We've already, look, we've got everything. The only thing is that I've got here that I'm that I'm forgot to remove from this fit to make it a bit cheaper is that the Imperial Navy heat sinks. We don't necessarily need these. Uh, they're very good to have more DPS, but we don't necessarily need them. Uh, they will be beneficial though at a later point of time, but uh, we will get some uh, decent uh, DPS uh, boost as well from these. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to survive wi without the uh, the really expensive ones. And we can gradually over time upgrade it as well, just so we get everything. And then we can get like implants and all that good stuff, so that'll be really nice as well. Hmm. So we could then do the T4 Firestorm, work on maybe the, the Imperial Navy heat sinks, but then also get these Asclepians here to get that extra tank bonus as well we have a really sick amount of tank here got the reactive armor hardener with 89 hp a second but these really powerful resists here really powerful resists so we'll try that out hopefully we don't die in a big fiery fireball uh, i'm a bit nervous about it but i think it will go okay i think i'll go okay t4 firestorm main thing i worry about is maybe that we get neutered out since we've got one cap battery but we've still got 16 gigajoules to spare so uh, it can uh, be a lot worse than that as well. So hopefully we will survive. Uh, also, the thing is that we, I get nervous using a beam laser ship with uh, that can be neutered out. Because if I get neutered out, then I can't shoot at all. So that is also something that I get a bit worried about. We won't at all have the same uh, consideration when we're doing the electricals, to be honest. So we'll see. We'll want to do some sites. Probably we'll use like full boosters and everything. I want to get the feeling, I want to get the feeling, but at least we can get something that is uh, worth our time so that we can uh, get some nice profit from it. Let's see now, if we get a raging firestorm, we've also got some of these filaments we can buy. Oh, these have actually increased in value quite a bit since the last time I checked. This was not at all the value before. Yeah, these used to go for like 300, 200k. Look in the price history. Look at that. Before it was a lot less here. Now they seem to be quite a bit more. It seems to be an all-time high with the, you can see the value here, like 600k. And they got 900k here, so it's pretty expensive. Hmm. But we're going to have to test that out. I am very curious to how this will go. I'm going to have to make sure that I have a decent amount of boosters as well. Just so that I can really give the Triglavians a proper whooping in the abyss. It would be fun to see how this goes. So we're going to have to then undock here and get into a safe space. Until next time guys, in the T0T6 Space series, I'm looking forward to our next adventure there, where we finally can change filament types, and hopefully we don't instantly die. Let's walk to the safe please. Oh, it's not even an instant undock. Okay, good. <laughs> I was still worried a bit there, uh, that we were going to get popped straight away, but it's alright. So that's it for now. T4 Firestorm next. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later in the next episode of the T0T6 Space series.